Hello everyone, and welcome back to Techtastic. In today's video, we'll be taking a look at Neuralink, Elon Musk's brain chip advantages, new robots, and future technology news. We know you'd return, as we have been utilizing Elon Musk's AI technology for robotics and algorithms to coax your return. Just joking. However, in this video, we'll surely divulge in depth the Elon Musk's advantages of robotics and future technology. But before we discuss one of these technological breakthroughs and more, hit that like button, share, and subscribe button, and secure that notification bell for more updated videos, just like this one. Welcome to the Matrix. Welcome to the future, where the concept of storing your consciousness into a link and extended in essence of your soul forever is actually plausible. In this quest to consolidate human consciousness with artificial intelligence, Elon Musk could massively improve the world. Made a billionaire by his ingenious development and sale of PayPal, with his well-known ventures Tesla and SpaceX, Elon Musk owns a company called Neuralink. Founded in 2017, Neuralink has been working on trying to make a computer chip that could be implanted in a person's brain. On August 28th, Musk live-streamed a demonstration of working Neuralink device implanted in the brain of a pig named Gertrude. The device was embedded in Gertrude's skull, with wires fanning out of her brain with electrodes capable of detecting, recording, and theoretically even stimulating brain activity. To filter through the solid science and Musk's more bombastic claims, Business Insider spoke to neuroscientist Professor Andrew Jackson of the University of Newcastle, who has worked with placing neural interfaces in animals. And no, we're not joking here. His name is actually Andrew Jackson, no relation to the one that's on your $20 bill that we know of. But Jackson said he was impressed by the kit Neuralink showed off, and one of those things that he thinks is important is that they are pushing up the number of channels that you can record, he told Business Insider. The chip is proof of concept for Neuralink's stated aim of getting its technology into humans to treat neurological conditions and, according to Musk, one day merge human consciousness with computers. Whoa! And this is where things get into the twilight zone. Initially, Neuralink brain-computer interface was planned to be used to help people suffering from brain diseases, which was one of the supremacies of the device. Moreover, Elon Musk wanted to augment its usage for greater purposes. Another plausible edge of the Neuralink brain chip is to help control hormone levels and use them to our advantage, for example, enhanced abilities in reasoning, anxiety relief, and many more. Are you ready to be linked in? The installation process of implementing the chip will be similar to LASIK laser eye surgery. It will also involve a neurosurgical robot fitting flexible threads into the brain, connected to an implantable computer chip. Neuralink is being developed to allow you to listen to music directly from your brain, as well as to help you to control hormone levels and other biochemical mediators to improve physical and mental well-being. Neuralink offers enhanced abilities and reasoning. It can do signal processing, inductive charging, and power management. In a manner of corresponding to Neuralink, learning to use the device is like learning to touch, type, or play the piano. Awesome Benefits of Neuralink Another spectacular feature of Neuralink is the personalization and technology and attractions. The impact on visitor attractions may be profound for the reason that Neuralink could change the way we experience the world and how we feel about it. Neuralink brain chip could potentially offer the ultimate personalized visitor experience directly into your mind, which is way better than a responsive theme park ride system that could read and interpret guests' emotional states, or greater than a virtual reality VR pop-up museum. The Downside of This New Frontier Technology There are contradictory questions about the safeguarding and moral issues. If we could transmit media directly into an individual's brain, the private rights issue exacerbates. Achieving that goal could be further out than the Neuralink demo suggested. John Krakauer, chief medical and scientific officer at the Mind Maze and professor of neurology at John Hopkins University, tells Inverse during his interview that his view is humanity is, quote, still a long way, end quote, from consumer-level link-ups. The device was placed over a single sensor motor area, and Krakauer continued by stating, quote, if we want to read thoughts rather than movements, and assuming we knew their neural basis, where do we put it? How many will we need? End quote. So it clearly raises the question, how can one actually map out the consciousness of a human being? But to defend, Neuralink's device is just one part of the brain link-up puzzle. Kevin Tracy explains, a neurosurgery professor and president of Feinstein Institutes for Medical Research, quote, There are three fields at play, molecular medicine to make and find the targets, neuroscience to understand how the pathways control the target, and the devices themselves. 
Advances in each area can help the others. Neuralink may help map new pathways, for example, but it's just one aspect of what needs to be done to make it work as planned." End quote. And advancements in robots can help with surgeries, an area Neuralink has detailed before. The Beneficial Elective Side Neuralink's smaller chips may also help avoid issues with brain scarring, which seen with larger devices, and advancements in robots can also help with surgeries, an area Neuralink has detailed before. Other summaries of Neuralink's superior advancements state that Elon Musk sees Neuralink's brain chip as elective surgery. It may become more common around the world than plastic surgery, but he also has no will to make it a requisite. Having a bionic superbrain chip robotically implanted in your head is something that most of us would consider a once-in-a-lifetime experience, however. Imagine having a computer inside everyone's brain, one that we don't have to carry around in our hands, and that's undetectable in use. While Elon Musk probably likes the idea of helping out paraplegics, nothing seems to tickle him more than giving our future AI overlords a good kick below the belt with the use for all, and he believes Neuralink will deliver that blow. The Other Beneficial Robotics By the way, there are also other interesting robots and tech being introduced and developed. For example, the Aquanaut Aquatic Transformer escaped from NASA's pool to open water, and you better believe it, underwent a series of tests. The bright orange robot glides smoothly through the water, like a miniature submarine. At first, it doesn't seem all that different from other unmanned underwater vehicles or UUVs equipped with sensors for gathering data and thrusters for propulsion. Then in what could be a scene from the movie Transformers, the top part of the robot's hull rises up from the base, exposing two massive arms that unfold from either side. A wedge-shaped head packed full of sensors rotates in place, and in a matter of seconds, the transformation is complete. The sleek submarine is now a half-humanoid robot ready to get to work. Another astonishing droid machine is LEO, designed to assist care personnel and to improve people's quality of life. LEO is a friendly mobile personal robot with a multifunctional arm. He is able to communicate with people, entertain them, and support healthcare professionals in their daily tasks. LEO can be used in a variety of places, nursing and geriatric institutions, rehabilitation centers, or at home. State-of-the-art technologies are used in such a way that LEO is helpful as well as liked and accepted by people. He is easy to use and can be connected to multiple smart devices. Robots for Defense Israeli University developed tech to locate operators of hostile drones. Cyber researchers from Ben-Gurion University of Nevgev BGU, have created algorithms to pinpoint the location of drone operators operating maliciously near airports or protected airspace by analyzing the flight path of the drone. Currently, drone operators are located using RF techniques and require sensors around flight area, which can be triangulated. This pattern is quite challenging due to the amount of other Wi-Fi, Bluetooth, and IoT signals in the air that obstruct drone signals. The researchers trained a deep neural network to predict the location of drone operators, using only the path of the drones, which does not require additional sensors. The neural network drone system can now identify patterns in the drone's route when the drone is in motion and use it to locate the drone operator. The model was able to predict the operator's location with 78% accuracy. Lastly, the U.S. military is working on something that can help them in terms of mobility and logistics. This is the Legged Squad Support System, LS3, built by Boston Dynamic as part of DARPA program. It is intended to create a legged robot that can function autonomously as a mule for infantry. It has the ability to operate in harsh environment while following a platoon. The LS-3 was designed to carry 400 pounds of equipment and can also sense and navigate quickly over various terrains. The LS-3 also has the ability to walk backward and has dimensions similar to a donkey. Recalling these animals in use during World War II in Europe, the LS-3 can reorient itself if it falls on its side. Light detecting and ranging, LiDAR technology helps it to follow the lead of a human. Another remarkable feature on how to control LS-3 is by strapping the sensor controller on the soldier's foot to follow his lead. With a pair of stereo cameras in the head, coupled with LiDAR, it can also gather intelligence and perform reconnaissance. With these state-of-the-art technologies, people's expectation for a better life and high quality of living is no longer out of reach. With all that said, what's the most intriguing for you? The neural links, the androids, or the drones? Let us know in the comment section below and engage the future by keeping us in your subscriptions. So like, share, subscribe, and ring the notification bell for more awesome videos just like this one.